Hello, I'm Chuck Phillips with South Alabama Home Inspections and welcome to another edition of Southern Home Talk. I'm going to do a brief video on this tankless water heater system. This is a Renai model, model V65, that was put in in 2016 and so far it's been working pretty good. Now these do require some maintenance and you look at these valves here at the bottom. They need to be back flushed about once a year so you would take some vinegar and a pump and pump that through the coil system up there to clean that sediment and scale out. And some people actually hire plumbers to do this, but this is something you may be able to do yourself. There's videos on YouTube that shows you how to do that. Now another thing too, if you don't have a cover over this bottom part, you want to take fiberglass insulation and wrap that as well, because these can freeze in cold weather. Now some other issues that's come up with these is where the electronics has failed from actually insects getting inside the unit itself. Now I've put some mothballs in there and that seems to have stopped that problem. And so the main thing is you want to take and put a scale filter also on the inlet side of this and I'll put a link in the description of where you can find that and this will greatly reduce the scale buildup inside the system. Now these usually come with one pad controller. It can be put anywhere inside the house and usually you can set these up to around 120 degrees and most people keep them set around 115. So anyway, Another thing too you want to know is that if you call a plumber out to come work on these things, they may not know how to work on this particular model and some of them can't work on them at all. So that seems to be the go-to thing when they have a problem with these to say, oh, go and call a plumber to come work on them and they may not be qualified to do that because all these parts that are in these are proprietary to the unit. When I say that, I'm saying that Rena makes every part for this system so they're not all the same. And so just know that, that if you call a plumber, it's possible they may not be able to help you. So anyway, I hope this has been somewhat informative. And I'm Chuck Phillips with South Alabama Home Inspections. And please subscribe to Southern Home Talk. Have a good day.